Greetings, fellow geeklings. It is I, Alex. Yes, have a bit of a rough throat again. Nothing to worry about. <coughs> it's part and parcel working and chill on night shifts. <laughs> um, so, I'm Alex. This is Geek Stuff. Welcome. I am also your pound shop Hawaiian shirt wearing, slightly bold, bearded pound shop. Henry Cavill, I think I've got that right, maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's a Blackstone Fortress. Um, yes, crappy impressions are about. <clears throat> now, PSA, this channel is not made for children. It can and will contain mild to moderate fucking swear words. There will be no scenes of nudity. Sex, violence, sexual violence, sex and violence, horror, gore, mutilations, or monsters. Not in this particular video, anyway. Um, so, you guys know um, everything that's going on. All you, all you D&Ders know exactly what's going on with the world of Wizards of the Coast. Kind of... <sighs> You know my stance on it. I'm still going to play. Um, but. I'm also. Waiting for Cobalt Press's new system to come out too. I've signed it up to. Um, Paizo's Nexus system. Um, I want to see if I can get some links for the MCDM. Uh, see what they're coming up with. I mean they're going to be a unified thing at some point and obviously in a year's time a lot of people are giving critical role a lot of flack at the minute um you guys know i'm a bit of a fanboy for critical role but um i mean they could just come out with a statement and just face the music but they are also under contract with D, &D beyond who are i think personally are getting screwed over after just being bought by Wizards of the Coast, they're being used as their scapegoat for everything that's going on. Um, so Critical Role have a contract with, with started off with a contract with um, obviously D and D Beyond. I have numerous NPCs and play characters on D and D Beyond, so um. I'm one of the few that stay unsubscribed. Now, you can leave hate in the comment. Um, the main reason is it's for the campaign I'm running right now. Um, but I'm looking at starting an in-home system. Um, got kind of like in-home game. I mean, if a publisher wants to come in and say... We'll help you build it. Um, that's totally fine. Um, obviously, I've got a couple of DMs that follow me here on the channel. Um, so I would like their feedback on this as well and any other DMs who might be subscribed that I don't know about. Um, and anyone who's Dungeons and Dragons fans, let me know, like TTRPG fans, let me know what you think. Um, am I... Am I being stupid staying subscribed to D&D Beyond holding to my beliefs that technically I'm only staying subscribed to D&D Beyond because of the sake of my campaign and it's easier to have all my characters in one place? Mm -hmm. I mean, I do not agree with what the hell is going on at this moment in time with the way Wizards of the Coast are running this OGL system. They they need to they need to not just backpedal. They're not just they they can't just backpedal and hope that people go, Oh, it's okay, everything's gonna be fine. Um I mean I'm not this isn't a sponsored video. Um but yeah, Critical Role have a year's contract. They still have a contract for another year. And obviously if they go ahead and kill these gods off in campaign three then that's their way of making a slow transgress transgression into a big FU 
at Wizards of the Coast. I don't for one moment think that Matt Mercer's just rolling over. By any means, he's got to play smart. Um, at the moment, the way Wizards of the Coast is going, they're not going to affect players or dungeon masters that are just following the books or creating their own worlds and putting the Dungeons and Dragons monsters in and they're just keeping their heads down and stuff like that. This is what basically I'm doing. I'm just relaying information. I'm a YouTuber. I've got a duty to do this. Um, also, the latest updates to what's going on. i uh, put a link down to D&D Shorts down below. He's got his latest opinions on this 2.0 agreement. Um, I mean, Paizo and Cobalt Press have got Wizards of the Oak Watsy at over a barrel on this one. Technically, no one's going to trust them anymore. I mean, it will take a while to completely... It will take a while to completely regain people's trust. It will take a few years. Um, it will take a few years of paying attention to players, third-party creators, um, us YouTubers, um, social media. They need to look at the general consensus of Dungeons & Dragons fans on the whole. Um, it's, it's the main reason why I wouldn't get anything published, personally, for Dungeons & Dragons. Um, I, by no means, I'm not a seasoned DM, but I have ideas, and there are ideas that I would run by seasoned dungeon masters and games masters to see what, throw, throw the past to at the wall and see if it sticks, basically. Um, so basically, I'm like fishing for, like, ideas. If you think this is a good idea, I've developed a D20 system. I want to, I want to play test it myself in my own game. Um, it's basically like a a wandering system when you're going from one place to another. So it's how I would roll for encounters. On if you say like they're traveling from one city to another, and it's going to take a couple of days or a day or so, what to roll. It's a little D20 system. There's going to be a coin flip in there as well. So, if this all goes down and I end up building my own in-house system, and it becomes popular enough, I probably will encourage a coin of some kind, a two-sided coin. Probably something with good, bad, um, kind of system. What is there? It will be using the multi-sided dice. Simplify. Um, like I said, I've got um, credit in this to um, the gaming gang. Because at the end of the day, I don't want a fellow YouTube channel coming at me saying, you just copied my idea. I'm crediting um, them to this. Um, because at the end of the day, I play computer games. I've played, um, I've played like uh, fantasy card games, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I've played countless RPGs on PC and console, from Fable to Knights of the Old Republic to Swatter to um, quite a few. Um, Fable and Swatter and Knights of the Old Republic have been my favourite. Jade Empire. It's a fantastic game, and I hope to God that they bring that back as a fabulous game. Um, I'm the type of guy that if someone wanted to run my system in Geek Retreat or whatever, someone says, oh, I like the idea of your system. Can I borrow it? Oh, sure, fine. I couldn't stop anyone publishing it before me. And the day it's a free license.
as long as they don't come after me if I publish. You know? Um, but yeah, if someone like Cobalt Press comes, it watches this and goes, do you want to write this for us? <laughs> as a little side thing. Um, that would be awesome. Um, obviously, I don't really have the subscriber base to have that much clout, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Um, or even if Critical Role say, do you want to do your own thing through us and just don't release it until after? You never know. Obviously, there would be certain things where I won't be able to... Um, yes, the camera is wobbling before you ask. Um, and don't worry, up. I'm not witnessing an earthquake. I live in the northeast of England. Um, the nearest tectonic plate is Iceland, which is the other side of Scotland. It's hundreds of miles away. Um, hundreds, I think. Thousand, a couple of thousand miles. I'm not 100% sure on the distance there. But it is far enough away that if there was an earthquake on Iceland, we shouldn't feel it. <laughs> uh, although the winds we've been getting the last couple of years... Anyone would think we live in Florida. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to credit Gaming Gang to this. I mean, I'm, obviously they're not going to be the first and only YouTube channel to do this system. I think there's... Um, if I remember the names, I'll put the YouTube channels down below. So check out the links for Gaming Gang, um, d, d Shorts... I'll see if Cobalt Press have a web have a YouTube channel, and I'll see if Paizo have one as well, and I'll put that down below. Um, obviously, Critical Role stuff. If you've never heard of them before, check them out. If you like voice acting and getting in depth in the story, regardless of your feelings about D and D, they're talented. Um, but yeah, so, so I wanna. Rough outlines as to how I would want to structure something. Um, obviously, as an in-house system, I wouldn't stop people using things like World Anvil and D&D Beyond to store their characters on. I wouldn't stop people using paper. Me personally, I'd rather use a digital format for my characters. Um... Just because at this moment in time, all the Dungeons and Dragons stuff, the... I'm not crap at maths, um, but it's a lot of. My, m Emma works in payroll and she prefers using an online system. So, <laughs> so the number system is quite involved in Dungeons and Dragons with like. Yes, save and froze and all that. Um, I would start thing. I mean, I've got a few homebrew races that have their stats on there. Um, but if I were to be forced to have to start gaming from notepads with people, I would want their input on it. Develop the game as it's going through. Sort of thing like world building, you know, create an origin story for the world, but that's neither here nor there, that's speculation. So let's get into this. Um, obviously, um, Gaming Gang he used a whiteboard and marker and just laid out a basic foundation of what would work, which is what I'm going to do now for you guys. And I apologise, at some point, probably Emma, um, sorry, sorry, I, I, I work nights, so I haven't been up for very long. And I think Emma's at her mum and dad's having some tea, um, tea, dinner, and probably due to come home anytime soon. Um, so I want to get this done. So you'll probably see Emma coming over, you'll probably see... Ted jumping on my lap, getting excited, or you probably hear him barking in the background. So I do apologise. <laughs> he has free reign of the flat, so if you're going to complain, 
complaint is going to fall on deaf ears. <laughs> we love him. He's the best. Emma and Ted are the best things that's happened to me for a long time, mentally. Um, so. <sighs> Not to say I've had all bad experiences with my exes. It's just a case of it's just taken a long time to find someone that's the total package, you know. There's like people that made me happy for short periods of time or, you know, and things happen. Things happen in life. I ain't pointing names. I ain't pulling a trigger on anyone. I'm not chucking anyone underneath the bus either. So if you think, if you're, if, 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 if you're watching and you start attacking in the comments, you're the ones being paranoid about it because I haven't mentioned your name once. So, and that's a broad spectrum. I haven't named your name once. Never will, never have. I might talk about what's happened to me in the past, but I will never name names because that's just childish. I'm beyond that. I'm in my 40s. I've got better things to do in my life now. You know, I've had regrets. So let's get on with it. So, um, this is something i just come up with just now. It's all in pencil, so it is changeable. Now, if you guys think this sounds good or it sounds trash, let me know in the comment section down below. Please be polite. You know. Um, so, Tales of a Prover would be the... A Prover being the world in which Frahain is a continent on. When I say world, I mean as in a planet. Um, made by Geek Stuff Games. Um, I shall... TM that. <laughs> um, the travel system. So travelling from city to city... Continent to continent, island to island, a basic D20 system using a D20 to determine how likely you are to so 1 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, using a D4 uh, on the low rolls on the 1 to 5 and 5 to 10, and a coin to decide if the if there's a chance, uh, like a 50 50 chance of. Who you're fighting becoming good? Can you talk your way out of it? Like you might have to fight for a bit to prove yourself. Use a percentile dice for um might might use it in the combat for like poison effects. How badly are you poisoned? And then calculate as to whether you're using a D4 or a D8 as to how poisoned you are. Um so a D10 turn system on combat. I mean, this 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 is just a rough draft of what I would do. So you'd have say like um, for your abilities, your toughness, which obviously is strength, strength and your ability to get hit and come back, get back up. So that would be species, class, species, and or class. A plus or minus to this, depending on, um, so say something like a a thief might not necessarily be very strong, but they might be really durable. They have, might have really good endurance. Um, so yeah, I'm, that add um, class to that as well. Um, so the class type might be giving them a bonus on something. So toughness is like how hard they can hit, how hard they can get hit. Um, the durability is kind of like how long can they go in a fight. And it's also the health. Um, and can they get fatigued and are they resistant to certain effects like being poisoned or magic effects you found them that bag was on top of it that's why it was no 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 no
no, 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 no. <coughs> Panicking for no reason. Um. So yeah, that would be like, do you do you make someone? If 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 it's a case of like a certain species or class isn't very proficient at using a heavy weapon, will it fatigue them if they decide to pick up a heavy axe and use it in combat? More than likely, yes. But also depending on their level as well and if they have the correct score for that. So that would be the endurance is how um so your durability is that endurance is kind of like your dexterity how agile are you you know um as well as so that'd be agility plus how how well you can use a heavy weapon but then again, that should be detected on there. So that one might not be applicable. So according to race and class, species and class. So obviously various mixed races, like mi mixed interspecies people might have benefits that others don't. Um, so brain skill, class and species. I know it does. It's like you, it's some... intelligence. Could call it intelligence. <coughs> intelligence style thing. So, you know, can they can they solve puzzles? Do they have knowledge? And it's general wisdom as well. Um, so arcane skill is like how well can they can use magic? Are they a wizard? Are they a sorcerer? Are they a warlock, a witch, or are they using god powers? Are they using nature powers? You know, it all depends. Um, I mean, this is starting to sound a little bit sketchy. And it's like I say, it's a rough draft. Um, so your blagging will be like your charisma, the ability to talk your way out of a situation, the way to convince people that you're doing the right thing or you, there's a reason why you need that thing. Um, and to do these, roll two d20s, go for the highest roll and add or minus bonuses according to species. According to Species. According to species and class. <laughs> so a thief is going to be better at talking their way out of a situation than a barbarian. A barbarian is going to be, I don't know, I just hit things. Um, level up based on XP on the GM's decision. In which case... Health points, your durability will be plus your species bonus um, and a D12 that makes no sense a D12 every five levels so every five that's supposed to be every five every five levels and add a d4 on each level up <laughs> so basically you're not breaking the game with health points so they reach fifth they, if they survive till fifth level you add a d12 to the rolls and they take that roll for their health points it's not species dependent it's not class dependent it's how they roll it um I may add a D4. I may change it and add the D4 on the first roll. You just add the D4 every time. Just to level up. You could say, well, why not use a D20? <coughs> it's true, but, you know. 
Um, because the D4 is going to be the regular one every like levels two, three, four. There's a D4 level thing. There's a D12. Keep adding a D4, and then it's just like if it's a one, you discard it. If it's a one or two, you discard it. If it's a three or four, you add it. I don't know actually. Nah, it would just be dependent. It depends on the DM as to how they run that. Um, DM, GM. But that's my thoughts on how I might create something. But um, yeah, that, yeah, like I said, that's my thoughts on how to create something. If you think it's bullshit, a load of crap, say it politely down below. <laughs> um, if you like the idea, if you like the structure... And you think there's some things that might need changing, it's good, but there's like one or two things. Again, leave a comment down below, uh, let me know what you guys think. It's not a system I might run with, I probably would use a completely different system. I'd just sit down and talk with a couple of people, see what they think. Um, this is something coming out of my brain on the spot. Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the subscribe like share and notification bell um to be notified when new videos come up um hopefully in next couple of videos we'll be talking individually about um each book from a book haul um so and hopefully any new information that might come to light that you might not have access to straight away about Everything that's happening in Dungeons and Dragons at this moment in time. But I say there's applicable links down below for that. Um, so always remember live long and prosper. Till all are one, may the force be with you. You will subscribe. And remember, when the GM smiles, it's already too late. Don't forget that like, that subscribe button. Help the channel. The like button will help as well. Um, and if for future videos or past videos and you want to see what's in my video library, what Lego stuff I've been building, Transformers I've been reviewing and stuff like that, click on my little alien bunny symbol down below, a little icon for the channel, and it should bring up a library of all my videos. And also, there might be some suggested videos in the column just here, and maybe something might appear here if this is still a thing on YouTube. Um, Catch you next time. And also, if you subscribe, you'll be part of that 100 subs club for a possible giveaway. And I shall catch you next time. Peace.